everybody. I'm Karen Pence. Thank you. And I want to tell you that it is my privilege to be with you here today. It is my privilege to stand with you. Well, hello, America. And thank you, Karen. It's a joy for us to be with you today. You know, my wife is uh, many things. She's a mother. She's an advocate for military families. She's traveled across this country. She's even an art teacher at a Christian school. And I couldn't be more proud of our second lady, my wife, Karen Pence. To Jeannie, to members of the board, members of Congress, faith leaders, my fellow Americans, especially all of the great young people in this pro-life generation, we're the Pences, and we're pro-life. And we're proud to welcome you back to our nation's capital. Grateful that you made the long journey here to the largest pro-life gathering in the United States of America, the 46th annual March for Life. Thank you so much. We gather here because we stand for life. We gather here because we stand for compassion. And we gather here because we believe, as our founders did, that we are, all of us, born and unborn, endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights, and first among these rights is the right to life. Forty-six years ago this month, the majority on the Supreme Court turned its back on that right. But in that moment, a movement was born, a movement defined by compassion and love, a movement animated by faith and truth, and a movement that's been winning hearts and minds every day since. Because of all of you gathered here, all those you represent and all those who have gone before. We know in our heart of hearts that life is winning in America once again. Life is winning through the compassion of caregivers and volunteers at pregnancy centers across the country. Life is winning through the generosity of millions of adoptive families who open their hearts and their homes. And life is winning through courageous men and women who step forward to serve in public office and who now advance the cause of life from our nation's capital to state houses across the country. To all the pro-life elected leaders that are gathered here today, we say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you for your stand. Thank you for serving for life. And to all gathered here today, we urge you to stand strong. Be prepared to give a reason for the hope that you have. Be prepared to defend life, but do so with gentleness and respect. They will attack you. They will question your hearts to silence others. But don't listen to them. Listen to the truth. And know that he who said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you also said, I will never leave you or forsake you as you stand for his creation, as you stand for the right to life.